Hi everyone, it's Alisa Tilsner and I am a demonstrator in Australia. Okay, so now for this video we are going to do part two of colouring our prized peony stamp set. So we're going to be colouring the big uh, flower this time and this time we're going to actually use two colours for this one and they're colours that don't normally, um, I wouldn't normally put together but um, I did and they work great. Uh, so you can put them together. So in the previous video that I did we coloured in uh, this flower here and it was just using one colour and that colour was petal pink. So for this one we are going to use petal pink and rococo rose. So let's get started. I will be um, uh, fast forwarding a few pieces so that you don't have to sit through all the tedious boring bits um, but to start with we have used um, stays on ink because we're watercoloring so stays on and I've used shimmery cardstock okay I've got my aqua painter I've got my uh, rag to wipe off on and I've got my petal pink and rococo rose and there you can see where the two colors are quite different and for the green I've got old olive and mossy meadow so let me just zoom in with this new camera I have to zoom in whoops zoom in differently okay make sure that I'm in the right spot and now we can get started so the first color wash is always a really quick and easy one um, just going to lay down our petal pink so as always just make a wet puddle with your petal pink quite a wet one and then we're just gonna throw it on okay so just do take a little bit of care when you get around to the edges sometimes I go a little bit gung-ho and uh, do a bit of an overkill miss the lines thankfully we have a really great die that cuts this out beautifully and it also cuts out the inside bits here um, which I really like okay now this bit here is actually a leaf I had to double check that one um, but in the catalogue it is shown as a leaf okay and then we just want to do the bud and that is it first layer done super simple easy okay now for our second layer and this is where I will be speeding up and it's just the same as coloring a single like with a single color or almost the same you do have to blend it a little bit more so just squeezing your ink pad to get a little bit of color going on now I am going to make a little bit of a watery patch the ink color is a little it reacts a little bit differently and you can probably see that in my lid see how it just sort of reacts differently around the edge but I figured out if you add a like just wet the puddle down and take it from there it should be okay it just needs a little bit of extra water when you're coloring so again like when we did our single color just add your color in um, the shaded areas wipe off and especially because I've got a fair bit on my brush for that one and then you do need to come back and just gently um, blend in the two colors that's pretty much the only difference um, when you're coloring is just to wipe that off so it does take a little bit longer and I will zoom ahead and um, come back when I'm done okay I think that's it you might just want to try and go deeper in some of those really dark areas 
Um, but you don't want to blend in the whole area. We want to be able to see the two different pinks in there. Um, otherwise, you know, we would just color it all in Rococo Rose. So just a few of those areas are quite dark with shading. So I do want to come back and just add a bit more depth in some of those areas. I'm probably going a little bit overboard now, but that's okay. Just gives them a little bit more separation from the petal in front of them. Okay, and then just blend, just soften those areas out again. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'll always find spots to come back and tinker with. Okay, but at some stage you've got to call it quits and go, right, that's okay. So you can see the two colours because I've got I've got my two flowers here. So you can see that it changes the whole look of the rose quite dramatically. I haven't done one yet, just Rococo Rose. I should actually do that just to see the three different variations. But I'm sure coming up um, for my Stamp by Mail group, they will probably experience that at some stage. Okay, so again with the leaves, Old Olive down first. Um, we coloured in a single one the other day, but I will just go really quickly through this. Um, I'm going to put my first layer down of Old Olive and then I'll go uh, straight into my Mossy Meadow and just go in where the shaded areas are. So I will speed that up and um, you'll still be able to see where I'm colouring though. Okay, so there we have our finished flower. So it hasn't taken too long. Um, but then again, when you're coloring, does it really matter? <laughs> okay, so I have got one more um, peony to show you and that is how I colored it. Um, Cause I actually, when you get your dye, you can make a 3D peony and I actually watercolored mine instead of sponging it like I have seen a lot of other demonstrators do. So I will show you in the next video how to assemble it and how I watercolored it as well. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a play and we'll see you again in another video very soon.